you said fans are like whenever they meet you they're always so shocked like you're so nice yeah it's like a fun fact about yourself that would shock people I mean you know I I actually am the jokester with my friends and I love being really funny and playful and I think that's not really shown on the show um I have really close good girlfriends and I'm the most loyal sweet friend and I think that maybe isn't dramatic enough for the show so they don't show a lot of that um and Christina's super sweet and and you know calm as well and I don't think that you should see that as much it's not quite as as juicy so um there's a lot of sides to me that people don't know and that they don't see I mean the show is about a 10 people more or less right so um there's only so much airtime, but the more dramatic stuff uh is is more juicy so they they show that but yeah i mean uh you know i'm from germany i've lived here 20 years i know a lot of people and i have a lot of close friends and and acquaintances and um so i don't think you should see enough of the warmth but um that's okay <laughs> The fact that I'm close friends with some of the girls and they ask me, hey, can you help me back me up in this situation? You know, what does that tell you? So, What's some advice that you have for anybody looking to get into real estate or if someone wants to get into the Netflix reality TV world? What's the best advice? I mean, we were just, uh, I feel like touched by the grace of God that it worked out with Netflix. I mean, I, I, I even got involved was kind of, a, I got involved, you know, a month before filming. So it was a really a last minute addition, which is why you don't see a lot of me in season one. But as far as real estate, um, I think that you really have to love what you're doing. You have to be seriously passionate about it. You can't just be like, oh, this looks fun. I'm going to do this as a part-time job. It's a full-time all-in type of job. I mean, you know, think about being a client. You don't want to work with someone who's a part-time agent. So you have to love it and be committed to it. I think that working for a top producer in your city is very um, helpful because you can see how they spend their time and what they spend their marketing dollars on and how they talk to clients and how they handle certain situations that come up. For example, that person might fall out of escrow and what's the reason? Can you save the deal? So it's really important to learn from a mentor. And I think, um, Driving construction sites is what helped me. I drove construction sites for a year and it's, it's a grind. It's a lot of work, but you just go there, you talk to the workers, who's the owner, are you working with an agent? And you kind of dig up uh, clients like that. So you have to be a serious self-starter to, to want to do real estate, yeah. And you gotta be tough because this is a shark industry. 